everybody, congratulations. You are doing so amazing. I'm so excited for you. You're getting to the end of this detox and you've done something so awesome for your body. It's so important for a healthy lifestyle to be detoxing and we should be doing it on a regular basis. So however you feel at the end of this, just pat yourself on the back and know that you've done such an awesome job and we are so proud of you. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about ending your detox well and what that looks like. So we call this a rotational diet. You want to incorporate the foods that you've been away from really slowly back into your diet so that you don't shock your system and you can determine what foods are good for you and what foods might be giving you some symptoms that you don't want. So. This is what that would look like. What you'd wanna be doing is rotating each food in one by one on different days and go slow. So let's say you did 14 days and maybe you've gone longer than 14 days, which a lot of you have decided to do, which is awesome. But let's say you did the two weeks and it's day 15. All right, and maybe the first thing you wanna have is caffeine. So in, introduce caffeine, but do it in a small, little way. So if you're used to drinking three cups of coffee, just try one cup of coffee and see how you feel. Or maybe you found that you have so much natural energy without caffeine and so you're like, you know what, maybe I don't need to drink coffee anymore. Maybe you want to try something with a little bit less caffeine like matcha, which is a longer lasting clean energy source or black tea. So start to incorporate these new habits that you form during this detox into your lifestyle because you've just done something so awesome and you want to keep Keep going with the habits that you've already created and the, the cravings that you might have diminished that you had before like sugar. Go really slow with sugar. Incorporate some really natural sugars rather than going straight to like you don't want to go to day 15 and do a cupcake and ice cream and coffee and bread all at once. We want to go slow. So with sugars I would say start trying to have some more natural flavors and natural sugars like coconut sugar and sucanat and honey, which you want to do unheated, unfiltered, raw, organic honey. Um, there's also maple syrup. So natural sources of sugar, not the refined sugar. And see if you can stick with that into your lifestyle. And then for grains, there's a lot of different types of grains and your body can uh, react differently to different types of grains. So you wanna do those things, um, you wanna spread those out. So maybe one day you have rice and see how you feel. Another day have some oats. And then on another day try wheat or gluten and see how you feel. The symptoms that you wanna be looking for are fatigue, brain fog, heaviness, bloating, anything with your digestive system. So just really take stock as you're introducing these things on a one by one daily basis and see how you're feeling and make lifestyle changes accordingly. For dairy, I would say maybe you try that on your third day back in. Try like some sheep cheese and goat cheese first and see how your body does with those. Then maybe the next day try milk or cream and see how your body reacts to cow's milk. Um, for alcohol, when you're having your first drink back off the diet, if you do drink, what you want to do is you want to keep it slow. You have a different tolerance at this point after being away from it for two weeks. And take your OptiCleanse. If you still have OptiCleanse left, do a scoop of OptiCleanse um, that night and then a couple scoops in the morning and that will help you to just um, process the alcohol better and support your liver in that. So like I said, go slow on these things. You created such healthy habits and you wanna start incorporate those moving forward. This detox is not just about this detox, it's about your lifestyle, it's about wellness, it's about incorporating things that are gonna help you feel the most flourishing, pain-free, and lead your healthiest life. So. We just encourage you to share this detox with friends and family that you know could use a little reset, cleanse out their system, and just feel good. So share it with your loved ones, and then we just encourage you to do this um, in a in a rotational way. So do it once or twice a year, and just keep your body clean, keep your health um, where you want it to be, and we're just so proud of you. Way to go. Um, we're here for you moving forward, and um, happy, end of your detox. Congratulations.